had to go and feed the gods Nobody did it right, I had to show them how to grind I had to be the hard, this is the life I live for God Taking a step at a time, we going up, we headed to Mars Yo, what's going on guys? So right now, I just want to show you like really good entries to get in. You know, just show you how I find my entries. If you can see today, I done made, let me refresh. It ain't refreshed the full amount, but it's a 517 right now. I will come back and refresh that in a minute. But that's today. You know what I'm saying? I've been killing accounts lately. Um, But look, so I'm going to give you a, a tip. So one thing I found out newly, I just newly, you know, start doing this, but I start coming here to this M15 and I mark my chart up. Uh, M15, H1, any one of these, kind of kind of how, how I would do Forex on like a higher time frame. So I just mark up key levels of support and resistance like this. So you can see one level here. We already know we heading down just based off previous, you know, the market's been going down. It already broke back through. So we just mark up these previous levels that touch. All right. And then I mark uh, a smaller zone up with these little horizontal lines. So you just come here, get your horizontal line, make mine a little thicker so I can see it, change the color of it, just so it brightens up the chart so I can actually see what's going on. Uh, so now that I know we get bounces all in this area, okay, we already selling off. Everything is a sell off because of, you see the structure, all right? So I start selling off, right? Uh, then, as it starts to get closer to these zones, as you can see the market is pushing down. So if I go to the M1, you can really see it pushing. <clears throat> you can really see it pushing down to this next zone right here, this green line, all right? So the market's continuing to push, so I'm just catching sales the whole time, I'm just selling, 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 uh, all the way down to hit the zone. Once it starts to get close to the zone, I stop because it's gonna get that bounce and it may come back up a little bit. And then once it reaches the next zone, it starts to form its sell again. I start selling. Now, if it breaks through the zone and start heading back this way, I wait for the pullback, and then I start buying at least up into this zone. But for right now, you see how I just pushing, sell all day. We selling, especially on five seconds. Like I'm doing five seconds. Like I just let you see some of the trades. You could probably see what I'm doing. <laughs> you could probably see what I've been doing. Uh, and the only reason why I'm going so small, uh, for the most part, is just to protect the account. Like I said. Uh, you can still make a lot of money by just you going small. You ain't got to go big, four, five hundred dollar trades and stuff like that. So I'm doing that on purpose to show y'all as well. But you could probably see what I'm doing. I ain't gonna say exactly, but you could probably see what I'm doing. <laughs> but yeah. So uh, as you can see, like I said, it broke through. It's actually pushing down here to this zone. Once it reaches here, I'll probably stop. I will probably stop selling. You know what I'm saying? And so that's kind of how I find entries. Now, if you want to do it on like two or three minutes, uh, the same rules apply. Same rules apply. Usually I try to catch those those three minutes on like supporting resistance, things like that. But if you mark your chart up on like M15, you'll be able to see um, exactly why the market is still pushing. Because if you're on M1 the whole time, you might get faked out. So you definitely want to go to the higher time frames and just look and see. You see, we're starting to push down here. Now we could potentially bust through this and keep going, or we could bounce. So let's see how far it busts through it before it start going back up, if it goes back up. And if you wanna verify that, you just come here to the M15 and you look. See, we got this long wick and it's been pushing. So let me uh, zoom out so y'all can see. Cause we broke through all of these zones, breaking some more. It's getting wicky up in here, so it should start to reject a little bit. Not saying it's going to reject and go all the way back because you can see it is a downtrend, so it may push back up and then start coming down again, or we may just push all the way down to the next zone. But all it's doing is going from zone to zone. Break through one zone. If it broke through, we keep selling. Broke through this zone, keep going, we keep selling. All right. The moment you start buying is when it starts to break back through these zones, and that's how you know we're going back this way. But until then sell off all day and so that's how i've been marking my charts up lately let me see all right let me see if it didn't refresh now yeah 539 so 539 for the day um let me go to a different uh chart because i marked up a couple of these see this one too broke through this zone start breaking through this zone just start breaking zone so we just been selling came up here retested broke back through 
sell off all day on the M15. So you just come to uh, M1 or M5 or whatever and just start selling. You know what I'm saying? It's already giving you what it what it's gonna do. The structure, you see the structure. Start breaking, boom. Lower high, okay, we back down. Selling, we got the cross here, sell off. That's all it's gonna do. And you could do that on each one of your each one of your trades. So try that out, y'all, and y'all demo or however y'all want to do it. Play around with that. Like I said, uh, if you need step by step on how to trade and binary options, I do got a course below. You can use that. Like I said, we already got people eating in the markets, you know. So it's up to y'all. Do what y'all do, <laughs> but watch my shoes. You feel me? Uh, you can always sell a support and resistance. So when you catch that bounce, as long as the rules apply, we under the two hundred. I caught that bounce. It start dropping. I'm selling. Catch the bounce here if you want to buy, especially on five seconds. Now, three, four minute trades, you might just want to go with the trend. But five second trades, you can't afford to go against the trend because it's only five seconds. You know what I'm saying? So all you got to do is catch a small rejection. Five seconds, you should be good. You know what I mean? But bounces, best time to get in. And or continuation. You see how this is pushing down? We selling off the whole time. Boom, till we reach the next zone. Here, you could be looking to buy. Or you could just continue with the trend. If it's gonna keep busting through, continue with the trend. You know what I'm saying? Best entry, best case scenario. Facebook, I don't think I marked this up. Matter of fact, real quick, before I go, I'm gonna just do this. I'm gonna just mark this one up so y'all can see exactly what I'm talking about. So this M15, I mean, this is a, a buy, this is buy central, so we already can see that, obviously. Let me go to Tesla, let me see what Tesla looking like. Tesla, that's an M15, that's a sell off. It's already below the 200. You know what I'm saying? I was kind of looking for something more in and out so I could show you how to how to finesse that, but everything looked pretty standard. Yeah, it's all sell-offs anyway. Let me see FedEx. FedEx is cool, so we can mark up FedEx. Matter of fact, let me do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit a uh, horizontal line. My first one, I come here, 5PX. I might change it to white. I find heavy zones right here. You see all this? You see this? Bounce, touch, touch, come back through. Bounce, touch, right here. Or you can even do two of them. Matter of fact, I'll just do two of them for this video's sake, just so y'all can see it. And these will stay on the chart forever. So let's just go here. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Just to get the bottom of that. We see we jump through. We hit it back this way. All right, for now. And then find the next zone right in here. Another one. So it's actually coming up on a zone. So if you want to make that a little smaller, let's say we make that like 2px and then change the color to uh it could be I'm gonna just do pink only because it stand out from the colors and it's already on the chart. So boom, this is the next zone which is already starting to hit. So if this is a downturn already, this could be the pullback. It may go up a little bit more, but then we may head back down this way. If that happens, since we're on a downtrend, we still selling off on this. You know what I'm saying? And this is on M15. So then if you go to M1 and look at it, you know what I'm saying? You can see it better, right? So you got two potential scenarios. We could pull back to about right here, head back this way, or if it break through, then we head into this one. If it break through this zone, we already know it's heading back to this one, all right? So these are the ones that you watch. But like I said, the consistency of this strategy works. So now it's marked up. It's just gonna bounce from zone to zone. You know what I'm saying? Zone to zone. We go back to N15. And like I said, if it breaks out of this zone that it's in now and wants to keep going, we gotta get a retest here. So we know it's gonna come back and retest if it breaks out. But then you come find the next zone that it's gonna head to. Cause it's all, you see all these touch, it's a bunch of touches all in here, this whole zone right here. So I, I could put one more just to show y'all. If y'all can't see it for y'all selves, let me put it up here for PX. I'll keep that green. I'll put it about right in here. You see, touch, all these touches here, touches here, touches here. So this, if it breaks through, we heading right here. If it don't break through this and it keep heading back down this way, then we still selling off. All right. So that's how I look at it. Now I come to the M1. Boom. 
Now we got our zones. Since I know we in a downtrend, automatically, see he's starting to reject, starting to push. We'll see how far. But if you notice on the Keltner channel, it usually push down to about right in here and try to head back up. But if it breaks through, then we know we heading down. So we can watch this for a quick second just to see what it does. Like I said, boom, hold on. Yep, see, starting to form, it's starting to form. But we'll see, if it breaks past this middle of the Keltner, then and it's gonna come right here. It may bounce here and go back up, but if it breaks through this, then we, we hit it. We hit it down, because it's been a downtrend. So that's how you can mark it up like that. And then I can fully see, especially if you're doing five seconds, it's full, you can fully see where you can get in the entries at, off the bounces. So you could be just selling off right here if you wanted to. The whole time, five seconds. Bop. Trying to see how far we're gonna go, if it's gonna reach down to the bottom. Looking at the M15, we rejected under the zone, so that's how you know. So if you were to start selling up here, cause it rejected, you would have been, you would have been up. You'd have been up a decent amount. He's starting to pass through. It's like I said, it's starting to pass through the uh, middle. Second candle then formed. Let's see where we gonna head to. See if we gonna keep pushing. But like I said, you could do this on two, three minute strategies. You know, a minute strategy, five seconds, 15 seconds. Look at that. He getting closer to that zone. So he may start rejecting or he might just go ahead and push through. If he push through. Cause it didn't already broke, broke his original structure. Look at that. Boom, what I told you. And if he do that, he's gonna try to head to the next zone. And the reason how I know that is because these zones are strong because it's on a higher time frame. And so that's how I will be selling. I'll be selling off the whole time. Easy money. All right. But yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it for this video, man. Uh, like I said, I do got the course available at the bottom of this video. It is helping a lot of people. You don't got to buy it. You can watch the YouTube videos and learn the same way. You know what I'm saying? But if you need something that's in order, more structured, so you can go back and reference each time, you can buy that. Uh, other than that, man, let me know what kind of videos y'all want to see in the comment section, and I will be back with more videos, Lord willing. All right, let it go. Going to different locations, how they got one, I need some direction. Me and Vinci go up every session. Cook it up, yeah, you know it's no pressure. Yeah, you know how we do what we all in. We can slow up and you're the big